back to my YouTube channel. You know what I noticed earlier today? I was like, wait a minute. Every time I do a video, I got this shirt on. <laughs> this must be like one of my favorite shirts. Um, but anyway, I wear all black to work. So I always try to find something black. And I guess it's the first one that I wash and fold. So I put it on. But I just wanted y'all to know I'm not in no way, shape, or form dirty. This is clean. I just so happen to have it on every time I do a video. But anyway, I hope that everybody is doing well out there. I pray that y'all are just off to like a great weekend or that you've already had a great weekend. I don't know what day you're going to be watching this, so I'm just hoping that you're okay. So before we get started, let's say a prayer so that God can receive us and give us good wisdom on today. Father God, I thank you for the people. I thank you for your people that are watching this, Father God. I thank you that you love them. I thank you that you love them even before you formed them in their mother's wombs. Father, thank you for the wisdom that you have imparted into me, God. And I just want you to speak through me, Father God, and deliver this word, this message, um, the way that you intended for me to give it to the people, God. And I pray that you would just um, bless us, Father God, continue to give us good ideas and just give us um, more strength and more faith increase our faith father god increase our capacity increase our patience father god to wait upon you oh god and we love you so much from the bottom of our hearts and we thank you for all that you're already doing right now lord god and we thank you for everything that you're going to do in the future we love you and we honor you in jesus name we pray amen so guys, I just wanted to just jump on here to talk about a couple of different things. So it's going to have to be a couple of different parts to this video. But the first thing that I wanted to talk about today was how to step out on faith. The reason I wanted to talk about this is because a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video about how to move from, um, how to transition from part-time hairstylist to full-time hairstylist and um i was talking to a young lady who was such a beautiful young lady that sent me a message and you know she was asking like well you know i know that god gives us wisdom and you know wants us to wait and make sure that we got things prepared and excuse me if i'm not saying it exactly how you said it if you're watching but i'm just kind of paraphrasing from what i can remember but um basically you were she was asking like how do we step out on faith how do we do it and make sure that we're in the will of god so basically i prayed about it and i asked god like you know well what was it when i stepped out on faith that made you give me favor and one of the main things that god was speaking to me that i remember when i did step out on faith because it always takes faith every time you move from one position to another position it takes faith um, and it seems like it's never the right time. Like you, you always want it to be right. Like you always want to make sure you got enough money saved before you hop out and jump out on faith. But is that really faith though? You know what I mean? Like when you, when you tell God, I believe you, I trust you, I have faith in you. My faith is in you. Um, you want to really make sure that you're showing God that you have your faith in him and not in yourself. Because there's always going to be a bill that comes up. There's always going to be things that come up all the time that you're just not going to be prepared for. Um, so I really just, to answer that question, um, when is the right time to jump, to step out on faith? I think that once you pray about it, once you pray to God and you believe in God and you, you trust God, once you pray about it, God will begin to order your steps because he always orders our steps. And then you'll get stronger. You'll get more faith. You have to ask God to increase your faith, increase your capacity to have faith, all of that. Once you ask for those things. And another thing that I did was I prayed for favor with man and with God. So when I started to pray for favor, God began to send me more customers. And once I got more customers, I was even I was even better. But the initial jumping out there, stepping out on faith, I didn't have I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know what it was going to look like, but I knew that God had put this dream inside of me to do hair. And I knew that he gave me all the gifts and talents to do hair. So I knew that I couldn't fail. I knew that I could not fail. There's no way to fail when God has already equipped you with all of the things that you need. So because you already have the talents, because you already have the gifts, because you you have the faith in him that he would get you from point A to point B. And I'm not saying it was easy. It's never easy 
when you are not in control. Um, by nature, by our human nature, we want to be in control. We feel like we want to make sure we have enough money saved. We want to make sure we are in the right position at the right time to do whatever it is that we want to do. And if you think about Abraham, when God told Abraham to pick up and move, I don't think Abraham had time to sit there and wonder if he have enough food, if he have enough this, if he have enough bills paid, if he has enough people going with him. I don't think he had time to think about those things. I think when you are being obedient, you just go and you worry about the details later. Um, so that's my advice. Just it's never going to be the perfect timing. You're never going to come to a point where you're like, OK, all right, so I got eight thousand dollars saved okay now i can go ahead and get to the salon okay so even if you have that amount of money saved there's no telling whether or not you're going to have the amount of people that you need to sustain the business so you got to do your own groundwork as far as laying out the foundation of the prayers that you know that you need to pray so a lot of times what i do is i will write down write out my prayers I know that I'm believing in God for this amount of clients, so I need to pray about this. I pray about my marketing. I pray about strategies for God to give me strategies on how to get the clients. And believe it or not, God will give... Like one time I was praying about strategies. I was like really wanting to like get more customers. This was before I started praying for favor. And the reason why I started praying for favor is because there's a scripture that says that God will give you favor. There's also another scripture that says God gives us the promotion. So I started praying about all those things. But before I even started praying about that, I was praying for a strategy. I was asking God for a marketing strategy, one that I've never heard of because God is a God of resources and he never runs out of them. So I was like, God, how am I supposed to market? So one thing that I noticed about myself was I felt like I always had to have a discount. So I come from old school era where you had to have a discount, like you would use penny savers or the value saver or uh, Groupon or any of those kinds of things. And um, like, so my prices would be extremely low and they were low because of those discounts. And so one time, God just straight up told me, stop giving discounts. Take the discounts off. You're not going to give discounts. And I was like, did I hear that correctly? Like, God, it's, I mean, it's not giving me a lot of money, but it's getting the people in the door. And God was like, no, we don't want, we don't, I want to send you my people. Those, my people, don't, they're not going to pay you a discount. They're going to give you what you're worth. And I was like, Wow. Okay, that's good, God. That's good. So I took it away. Of course, I was scared. So you're always going to feel a little bit of fear when you don't um, when you don't put all of your faith and all of your trust in God. There are going to be times where it's going to make you feel like, okay, God, I'm doing it, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm just going to I'm just going to go with it. And as I got further on in my walk with God, of course, now things are getting easier for me it's easier for me to to put uh it's easier for me to put my faith in god let's just say that it's so much more easier it's easier for me to be obedient right away and not to ask questions there's some things that god is telling me right now to do and i have to be obedient to them things and they don't feel good they don't but i know that the greater outcome i know that the result of me being obedient is going to be far more greater than what i had to give up and the same thing for you. Stepping out on faith is going to be scary, but you got to do it scared because God didn't even give us the spirit of fear. So we're not even supposed to be fearful. And guess what? If it doesn't work, then God will give you another plan. He'll give you a way of an escape and he'll see you. A way, he'll give you a way out, basically. So you never it's like you never lose with God. You never, ever lose. That's why it is so important. And I'm going to keep stressing it. I can't stress it enough how important it is to have a relationship with God. It's not about religion anymore. It's not about saying, oh, I'm this or I'm that. It's about, do I have a full relationship with God? Do I have a relationship where I can call on my father? Do I have a relationship where I can sit in front of him and just cry and don't say a word, but listen to worship music? Do I have a relationship where I can just worship him no matter what it looks like? Do I have that kind of relationship? Because that's what God wants. He doesn't really care about what religion you think you are you know he cares about 
whether or not you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And if he's your father, he's going to provide for you. So that is all that I have to say. Step out on faith, guys. It's all right. God will always, always have your back. He says it all the time in his word. He fights for us. He fights our battles. He never wants to see us lose. You know, he always wants to see us prosper. His whole thing is prosperity. You know, his whole thing is making sure that our families are okay. So if he wants to make sure your family's okay, why wouldn't he give you money? Why wouldn't he give you resources? Why wouldn't he give you the clients to make sure that you sustain your business? There was times when I was slow as I don't know what. And I, I just was like, wait a minute, God. I stepped out on faith. You you were encouraging me to do this. I'm doing it. And now I'm slow. Like, what's what's happening? But during those times was the time when I was building my relationship with God. It was when I was building up my faith, building up my trust in him. And because I remained faithful, because God sees everything that we do, that we do. When he saw that I was being faithful, even with a little bit, that's when he gave me more. So you will be fine. You all will be just fine. So I hope that this encouraged you and blessed you. I hope y'all have a blessed rest of the day or weekend. And I will get back on here soon with another message. Y'all take care. Mm -hmm.